interview with Good Morning America yesterday, tennis legend Martina Navratilova broke the news that she's suffering from breast cancer. Talking about the discovery, Martina said she was astonished. I thought, this is ridiculous, I'm a healthy person, she said. I've been healthy all my life and all of a sudden I have cancer. Her reaction was, are you kidding me? So now we obviously of all wish Martina the very best with her road to recovery. But it got us to thinking, how much do we invest in our own future health? Or do we? Well, I, I, think, I think you can't really, there's no guarantees, right? You know, you can live the healthiest life, as Martina has proven. And, and I've read quite a few cases of people who, you know, they do all the things you're supposed to do mm. all the way through their life. They don't drink, they don't smoke, they eat broccoli every day or whatever they say you're supposed to do. And, you know... They still get cancer. You know, there, is, there are no guarantees. So I think, I think what I do is I do think about it sometimes, and I do genuinely worry about my liver on occasions. <laughs> and I know that sounds flippant, and I'm joking, but I do. And so I kind of I do a bit of maintenance, and yeah. I look after it in that way. You know, I'll, I'll yeah. take some time off, and, uh, you know, everyone knows the liver repairs itself. So I'm, I'm yeah. quite good like that. But I do... <laughs> <laughs> it does! You offset it, like I offset. a carbon footprint. Yeah, yeah, it's like a bank. <laughs> I can put it in and take it out. And I do, I do worry about it in that sense, but I, I, I'm, more, I'm careful about what I eat and how I live my life because I don't want to feel unhealthy and I don't mm. want to feel mm. unwell. You know, whatever I do to myself, you know, if people choose to smoke or they choose to drink too much or whatever, that's up to them because, mm. you know, you know of people, you read about them in the paper, they're 145 and they've drunk and smoked every day of their lives mm. and they're perfectly healthy. Mm. So, so, you know, there's no guarantees. Things, yeah. yeah. I think you have to be aware. I think, you know, at the moment, I'm trying to be healthy and fit and and I thought, you know, a couple of months ago, I thought, right, I'm, I, I really want to feel good and healthy and that I'm doing the best that I can for my health. I've got a fabulous trainer, Tone, right, Tone? And um, he says to me quite a lot of the time, you know, you've got to be careful what you're putting in your body. You know, we, you need to be doing this at least three times a day. And I think, yeah, no, I know I should. And there's one reason and one reason only that I do it, and that is my son. Because I occasionally have these horrendous nightmares. And I think, to be honest, uh, that it was... It was Set, set off from, you know, Jay Goody, leaving her kids, just tore me apart. I don't know how she did it. And I have these nightmares that something is going to happen to me, something happens to me, and I leave him. And I think, my God, what would he do? Where would he go? What would happen to him? So that frightens me, and it gives me a kickstart, but it doesn't, but it doesn't sort of last. Sustain. It doesn't sustain. Well, and the first think, thing you can do to make sure do you get obsessed about is it? get yourself checked. And do you do that? Uh, no. Well, that's, that's, the, that's a no-brainer. It doesn't matter how much, many vegetables you well, eat. If you're not getting regular checks... you can check yourself for breast yeah. cancer, cervical cancer. You can get those checks done. You can't check for, you know, mm. lung, lung cancer. cancer. No, absolutely. Like but the checks that you can get done, you should be getting done. Yeah. If, that's, if that's how anxious you feel No, I did. It. I did feel anxious once. I had, I had um, a, a lump in my breast and I thought, oh, my, well, you feel the worst. Mm. I'm a single parent and he's my life. He's the love of my life. And I just thought, oh, my God, what's going to happen? It actually turned out to be nothing. But it did scare that hell out of me yeah. I think you've just said it there I think we we worry so much I think worry and stress is the biggest killer yeah. you know because we do, do you not think because yeah. you know it, it's the thinking how the heck am I gonna pay that mortgage at the end of the week how the heck am I gonna feed my family for a bit? there's an awful lot of illness brought on by stress and worry yeah. And I think we, we have to sort of sit back from it a little bit. Well, there's know? a great theory, isn't there, that it's, a, it's an accelerator. Mm. Uh, that it will, if there, is, if there is an illness within you, uh, you know, put a big dose of stress on top of it and it will bring it to the fore. Mm. Yeah. So, stress yeah. does weaken your immune system, no doubt about that. And, you know, our, my theory is that, you know, everybody has cancer cells. It's whether or not they get triggered by something and start to overproduce and, and that's what makes you sick. So I'm, you know, I'm quite philosophical about it really. I do yeah. think that, you know, if your number's up, your number's up. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything that's going to stop that. So I think you just have to live your life the way you want to live it, have a happy life, be healthy, and make yourself feel good. If you feel good, you probably won't have stress. You know, mm. like, you, you only do it for Jake. You should do it a bit for you as well. You know, yeah. you should want to feel good. You should want to eat those things and be healthy because it makes you feel better. Mm. Yeah. A little bit what you feel. It's more about you. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more break today. But stick around.